Hi, and welcome back to Scotty's Tech.info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. A little over a year ago, I made a video called How to Fix Choppy Video in VLC, VLC Media Player. That was a pretty popular video. Obviously, lots of people had that problem, but many people asked me, right, my video is great, but my audio is choppy. So I recently had this problem and I'm gonna show you real quick how to fix it. So here we have a, a movie and I'm just gonna play it and uh, hopefully it will capture the audio. Will actually decrease by the time you graduate. The available number of entry level jobs will drop. Now when I play this video, the audio is very choppy. So what I wanna do is come down here, first of all, in the lower right hand corner of the screen and I'm gonna click the little speaker and go to sound settings. That's going to take me to the Windows system sound settings. And all I want to do here is make sure that whatever output device I'm using for sound is selected. So um, like this is a laptop, for example, so I can use the built-in speakers or I can plug into the, the headphone jack. I can plug powered speakers, uh, headphones, whatever. In this case, for the purposes of recording this video, I'm actually using a USB audio device. Uh, that's a long story. But all you want to do is make sure that whichever speakers or headphones are you're using are what is actually selected. So uh, if I had uh, a pair of headphones plugged in to the front jack on my laptop, it might say uh, like speakers, uh, and then it might say like Realtek uh, audio uh, port number two or output number two. If I had headphones plugged in, I'd check that one. So I'm just gonna say, okay, headphones, and then you just come down here and click this little sound thingy here, and you should hear the system tone. If you do, then okay, your Windows is set up correctly and you're good to go. Then you just wanna go back into VLC Media Player. Now you might think that you have to do something with like Codex and all that stuff, you know, DirectX or OpenGL or all that like with video. But I found that actually you don't. What you need to do is come up here in the upper left hand corner and click audio. And then you want to go to audio device and it's gonna be selected, uh, default will be selected. That's not what you want. What you want is the whatever output that you're actually using. So in my case, I'm gonna say headphones, Realtek USB 2 audio. Uh, you would pick obviously the, your second output, your speaker's output, whatever it is, select that. And then the second thing you want to do, now you can see that I've actually selected that output. The second thing you want to do is go to the stereo mode and um, it may actually be on, uh, it may be on mono, maybe on original, stereo, whatever. Uh, generally mine is on headphones and I simply change it to stereo. And then when I play the video file. Over the next four years, median income for those jobs will go down as well. Ta-da! It's not choppy anymore. Right. So what the heck is going on? <laughs> you have to understand that um, audio is kind of complicated. In this case, I've got a laptop. As I said, I can use the, the internal laptop speakers. I can plug in external speakers. I can plug in headphones. So what you have is you have the Windows layer, uh, which includes audio drivers that came, in my case, from MSI. So you've got Windows, then you've got the drivers on top of it, and then on top of that you're putting VLC Media Player. So it seems that what's, what happens is either there's something that changes with Windows or there's, you know, maybe you get new drivers installed. Uh, there can be problems when you're, when you plug like a pair of headphones in and yank them out and it switches between headphones and the built-in speakers. That's supposed to automatically switch, switch the output in everything. And sometimes it doesn't work very well. On top of that, you have the final layer, which is VLC Media Player, and it has 25 gajillion options, which is great but sometimes you just need to go in and basically poke it a little bit and make sure that what you're using is actually what you want. And like, as I said, you know, you, you select instead of headphones, you just pick stereo, like don't try and process the audio, just, you know. So you may have to play around with the settings a little bit, but uh, I fought with this problem and I thought it was like, the, like a codec thing. I thought I tried DirectX, I tried OpenGL, I tried like direct sound and like futz with all those settings and none of them made any difference. What made the difference was simply checking the, out, the output in Windows, checking that VLC was using the proper output in its audio settings and then saying, no, don't consider it a pair of headphones, just say it's just a stereo audio output. And that fixed my problem. No more choppy audio. Uh, one last note, uh, if you like my uh, Cletus Hawaiian t-shirt here, 
you can buy one up here or there'll be a link down in the description or just yeah like click everywhere and you'll find it um yeah it's a pretty snazzy shirt cletus likes it for more techie tips see scotty's tech.info thanks for watching see you next time